Hi, I'm Raymond Brennan. I'm a senior information technology student at Syracuse University. And I'm Nick Silva. I'm also a senior here at Syracuse University's High School of Information Technology. We're here today to educate you about the potential dangers of connecting to a rogue AP. A rogue AP is a device which sends broadcast beacon frames to potential clients attempting to associate with the, the wireless basic service set. Unknowingly connecting to one of these devices is, is the dangerous and poses the definite security threats due to the fact that packets can be captured, revealing sensitive information such as passwords and usernames. Right. That's exactly right. So in this demonstration, we're actually going to make an example of how a mobile phone can be used as an access point, or in this case, a rogue access point, rogue AP, uh, in order for someone to create a wireless network and have any unsuspecting uh, guest host try to link into it, or guest clients link into it, and have internet access, accessing websites like uh, bank account websites, uh, Facebook accounts, uh, where there's username and password, and show how these things can be compromised uh, through tools like Wireshark. At the end of the demonstration, we'll also explain a little bit about uh, different ways that you can keep yourself safe while using open Wi-Fi internet access points or net wireless networks and things to look out for so this way you don't fall into a rogue AP pitfall. Okay, so I'm someone with malicious intent and I want to set up a rogue AP so I can potentially get people to connect to my access point and we're going to steal some packets today. So what I have here is an iPhone with an app that will allow me to allow my iPhone to simulate an access point. The application is called MyWide. And right here we're going to choose the Wi-Fi hotspot option. We have advanced options right here. Just like the channel and the transmit power. Also, we are going to name the hotspot something like SU Airport. And we have web security off. So we have an open network and everybody and well everybody and everybody can connect and we're just gonna turn that on. Right now it's broadcasting a signal. And now I'm gonna demonstrate how we can actually connect to this hotspot. Turn my wireless on. And as you can see, here is our fake network that we created, which is unsecure. And we can go right and connect to that. And as you just heard that sound, we connected to the network successfully. I'm just a general person coming into a general area and I need to access the internet. I have some very important email that I want to have access to and I have my laptop here so I can do that. So I'm going to open this up here. Log in. And the first thing I'm going to do to uh, get my email is make sure I have internet access. And how I'm going to do that is by connecting to a Wi-Fi hotspot. 
Now, I'm only here for a little while, you know, so I just want to connect to something pretty quickly, get on my email, and then I'm ready to go. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, check it out. There's a open connection, doesn't require any kind of security. So, I'm most likely going to pick that because I need to get online fast. Now that I'm on the network, I can go into my email. And let's see, it's a hotmail. I got internet connection. Uh, I'm gonna log into my email, and I'm all set to go. And once I, uh, once I'm done. I'm going to close up, I'm out of here, I'm going about my day. So in order to see the data traffic on the network, what we have here is a USB air PCAP device, which is going to capture all the wireless data transmissions that are in range. Um, and we're going to use this device as an interface for Wireshark so we can actually see all that wireless data. Just gonna plug that in like that. Then we're gonna start up Wireshark. We're gonna select our AirPCAB USB wireless capture adapter as the interface. And already, as you can see, on channel one is all this wireless traffic from we have Cisco APs and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do right here is change the channel which our iPhone is broadcasting and you can see traffic from this channel as well what we're gonna see in a minute is the host PC access the network that we are broadcasting and actually see all the traffic from that PC device. Okay, so as we have a live capture going on right now in Wireshark, it's sniffing out pretty much everything in the air. And if I set up a rogue AP and you know, I had malicious, malicious intent, uh, what I would want to do is try to find certain clients, most likely ones that are on my network, and fish out for their information. So, using again just this phone, on this application, what I can do is slide down a little bit, and under active users, it'll tell me the number of active users that are on this network that I've created. It even may, may tell me uh, an IP address or just the name of their computer. In this case, you only have one connected to my, my uh, AP, and it's telling me the name of the computer, not an IP address. But what's neat is that with the same phone, I can slide down my toggle window, and you can see that my access point address, which of course is the gateway for anyone who's connected to the network, is 192.168.20.1. So I can safely assume that uh, you know either a dot two or dot three or dot four or dot five are going to be client uh, assigned IP addresses uh, connected to my network. With that piece of information, what I can then do is go into Wireshark and apply a filter and just try different end numbers for an IP address that would be on my network. So we pre-did an address, and I'm going to apply the filter. The filter has been applied. This is still running a live capture. So this is ending in what this is has an IP address of 192.168.20.3, and this shows me everything that's on you know all the information that has been going back and forth on uh, that client. Now, if I see anything going on, 
that means uh, you know some new transmissions that have been created as you can see here uh, some TCP packets so I'm gonna go to that computer which was the the little desktop here laptop log into Facebook and as soon as we do that we'll start seeing some really cool information here a client hello a handshake or two and now we have all kinds of data going through all kinds of packets see some lost ones you know there's just keep, they keep coming in and I can take this information if I want to we'll go back to the beginning here's our client hello and we can actually go into to any one of these packets and try to find you know uh, information regarding uh, you know uh, a login or uh, passwords or, or even conversations that you have with uh, other people on Facebook or on Instant Messenger and, and kind of play this middleman attack. So as you can see, very possible with just a cell phone and the right uh, networking card and you can get uh, your information snagged by pretty much anyone. So to recap, we demonstrated how someone with malicious intent is able to use a simple device such as an iPhone to set up a rogue access point to potentially draw in unsuspected clients. You saw how easy it was to download an application for a phone to set that up. You also witnessed how an unsuspecting user can open a laptop and very easily link their laptop to that unsecured network. Finally, using a USB device, an air PCAP device, and also a simple PC software called Wireshark, we're able to actually sniff out all the wireless data traffic going through that AP, and with additional tools, we can actually take individual packets from those captures and further decrypt them and find out sensitive information such as username and password. So in order for you and all of us to keep that sensitive information safe, we have some tips for you to follow to make sure that your information stays secure. Thank you.